Chromebook. And in your Chromebook, please go into your Google Classroom. And then in your Google Classroom, if you guys go into our stream on the very first homepage, you will see that there is an assignment posted here just uh, about 30, an hour ago titled Student Self-Assessment. So you're going to click on this. It should be right there as soon as you log into Google Classroom on your stream titled Student Self-Assessment. It will say that I posted the assignment. Okay? And then once you go here, it says, after completing this lesson, identifying, describing cause and effect text structures, and filling out the cause and effect chart, please answer these questions to assess your knowledge of what you have learned. Okay? So this is the self-assessment here. It is titled Student Self-Assessment. The, 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 the first paragraph right here, this is just the instructions that I just read to you. Okay? So you're going to focus on these questions here, and then you're going to click right here on the box below to put in your answer. So our first question, and this is only you're going to answer these questions all by yourself. This is just to figure out what you learned. Okay? So our first question is, what have you learned? So just from this lesson right now, what have you learned? And then the next question is, what did you find easy about learning to identify and describe cause and effect text structures? So basically, what did you find easy about this lesson? What was easy for you in this lesson? And then our next question, number three, is what did you find difficult? while learning to identify and describe cause and effect text structures. So what was hard for you about this lesson? What was hard for you? You know, all you have to do is write one sentence, that's all I'm asking for, is one sentence for your response. The next question is, what is something you did when you were confused or got stuck on something? So if you were confused and got stuck, what is something that you, what did you do? So you were confused, you didn't understand what to do. What did you do? You know, what is something that you did to help you figure something out? And then the last question is, how would you change this activity for another class who was learning about this? So if there's anything that you would change about this, like what would you want to do different about this lesson? Okay? So here are our questions here. Everybody go ahead and work on this for a few minutes. Let me go ahead and make sure everybody's there. Okay, yep, looks like you're there. So all you need to write is one sentence for each of these questions. One sentence, a complete sentence. There it is. And then once you're finished, uh, let me know, and then I'll go around and uh, I'll check on you guys. Mm -hmm. Looks like you guys are good. If you have any questions as well about what the question is, let me know, and I will help you with the question. Okay. So let me know if you need any help, and let me know when you're done. As soon as somebody's finished, raise your hand so I can check on it before you submit it. Alejandro, you're going to get out your uh, Chromebook? So let me know. Before you submit it, let me see it. student self-assessment. So these questions are just that ask about what did you learn? So what did you just learn about this lesson? So we can go through the questions together right now when you pull it up. So what, what this test is for is so that we, um, we could figure out as teachers what we are doing good and then what we can fix as well. So we see as teachers, okay, we understand that most of these students were doing very good at this. But then the self-assessment also lets us know what you guys are struggling with. And so what we can do to improve our lessons as teachers to make our teaching uh, the best it could be. <clears throat> so you're gonna go to the stream. It should be right there on the top. <clears throat> the first one. No, no, no. Is it right there? Okay. So you're just gonna go through and answer these questions. So just write it in, in, uh, in one sentence. That's all you need in one sentence. You can write a complete sentence. So the first question is, what have you learned? So what we did just right now. So what did you learn? And the next one would be, what